Let's do some examples of solving trigonometric equations involving just one trigonometric function. Now we're going to do this on the interval solely between 0 and 2 pi, where 0 is included and 2 pi is not. In other words, if we're looking at a unit circle, we're looking starting from 0 until 2 pi. Okay, so one revolution of the unit circle. So for example, let's say we want to solve 2 times the cosine of theta minus 1 equals 0. So just like you would solve any equation, you want to get what you're solving for by itself, which in this case is theta. So I'm going to get the cosine of theta alone by adding 1 and then dividing by 2. Okay, so I'm looking for the angle whose cosine is 1 half, again within one revolution of the unit circle. So if we're looking at the unit circle, it helps to think about what coordinate are we talking about. Since this is the cosine function, we're looking for the x-coordinate. So we're looking for the angle or angles whose x-coordinate is 1 half. So I'm going to mark out where x is 1 half. So that actually happens in two places. So thinking about these angles and radians, because this is 0 to 2 pi, this would be pi over 3 and 5 pi over 3. So we actually end up with two answers. So theta is pi over 3 or 5 pi over 3. Okay, let's try another one. Let's see, we have 5 times the cosecant of theta minus 3 equals 2. Again, getting the angle by itself, I need to get the cosecant of theta by itself by adding 3 and then dividing by 5. So adding 3, I get 5, divide by 5, and I get 1. Okay, so this is cosecant of theta. It might be a little bit easier to think of this as the reciprocal of sine. So I'm looking for where the reciprocal of sine of theta is 1. In other words, where sine of theta is 1. So again, using a unit circle, 0 to 2 pi, sine is the y-coordinate. So I'm looking for the angle or angles whose y-coordinate is 1. That's only in one spot, which is pi over 2.